The last thing you need to know about for statistics is what are called two-way frequency tables. Uh, a two-way frequency table is a table of values where you generally are given a couple choices and you try to find the combinations of stuff together. So the key with a two-way frequency table is that the choices, the boxes, will add up to a total at the bottom. So each column adds up to a total at the bottom and each row adds up to a total on the right side. So if you're filling them in, you're looking to make sure they all add to a total. So I see this row here, 18 plus something plus something plus two has to be 29. So I'm gonna work my way around. It might not be any specific order, but I'm gonna try to figure out what values fill in the missing, okay? So that's gonna be my first step to fill in all the missing. So I see that one and 18, together they make 19. So in order to go from 19 to 23, this one has to have four more. Here I have six total, and I have one and two, so this missing one must be three, because two plus three plus one is six. I can't fill in this one yet. I can't fill in this one yet, because two blanks don't work. But if I look sideways, I can see that 18 plus three is 21, plus two more is 23. To go from 23 to 29, I need six. Now I can go back to adding down. Six and four is 10, plus one is 11. This total is eight. Two and six is already eight, so there must be nothing there. Now adding across, one plus two plus one is four. 4 plus 1 plus 4 plus 6 is 15. 23 plus 6 plus 11 plus 8. I got 29, 39, 40, 48. Now, when you get to your last box, double check. So I just added across. Double, double check adding down to make sure that you get the same thing. So I get 4 plus 29 is 33 plus 10 more is 43, plus 5 is 48. If you get the same thing at the very end, most likely you did it correctly. Now, when you have a frequency table, it is possible that they will not give you these totals at the bottom. They won't even put the uh, missing blanks there for you to remember. So if you come across a problem where the totals are not there, you need to make them. So just write a row for yourself, redraw the table, and make them. Because when you get to other questions that they might ask you, it's possible that you need the total. So first one asks, which drink is the most popular? So I'm looking at my drinks, which are going sideways, and I just want the totals. So soda has the most people that said it. So soda is my most popular. What was the most popular combination of food and drink? So I'm looking at these individual boxes, okay, for the highest number. So soda and popcorn had 18 people say it. So soda and popcorn. Now, here's where you need the totals. So a lot of times it's gonna ask you a percent of. So after the word of, you need to pay, uh, pay attention to what it's asking you. So in this case, it says people. Now, sometimes it might say people who ordered water, which this would be your people who ordered water. But if we just says people, we're looking at our total. So there are 48 people total. And I want the people who ordered popcorn and a slushy. So here's my popcorn. Here's my slushy. Popcorn and a slushy is six. Okay, so I'm going to use my calculator. Six out of 48 is 0.125, which is 12.5%. Okay, if you don't have your hand calculator, Desmos is a calculator for you. You just type in top, top divided by bottom, 
and you'll get your decimal, multiply it by 100, or move the decimal twice. Okay, what percent of people did not order any food? So again, I have of people, so that's out of 48, and I want no food. Okay, so no food, there were 15 people who did not order any food. So again, if I use my calculator, 15 out of 48 is 0 0.3125, which is 31.25%. Okay, sometimes you're gonna get really long decimals, round off to one or two places, depending on what you need. All right, let's look at the second example. So again, first we gotta fill in our missing blanks. So I see three and something is seven, so that must be four. Something and seven is nine, that must be two. 23 and 30 is 53. 12 and something is 28, so that must be 16. So I got all of my row or columns going down. Now I'm gonna add a cross. So two and three is five, two and three is five again, so there's 10. 20, 40. I see these two right now. 40 and 57 must be 97. Now I'm going to check across. 53 and 7 is 60, plus 28 is 88, plus 9 more is 97. So I got the same thing at the end going both ways. I'm pretty confident I'm correct. All right, which pet is the most popular? So I'm looking at my pets. I have 53 people who said dog. So in this table, dogs is most popular. Okay. When you're answering these questions, don't put your own opinion to it. You might not think it's correct, but this is the data that's given. Go with it. Second, or third question, how many males have a fish? So if I'm looking, I have males that have a fish. There are just two. Now, next part, what percent of people, so here's my people, out of 97, are males with a dog? So I want males with dogs is 23. 23 out of 97 is 0 0.23, I'm gonna round off to seven. So 23.7%. All right, last one. What percent of females, notice, our of thing changed. So our total we're looking at is not people anymore. It's now females. So I want the total of females, which is 57. Okay, now, this one says have a pet. Well, cats are a pet. Dogs are a pet. Fish are a pet. Other, we don't necessarily know. It could be bird, hamster, it could be none, but it doesn't specifically tell us. So from what we know here, all of them own a pet. Okay, so 100%. Okay, it doesn't tell us specifically there is no none column. So we don't necessarily know if they don't have a pet. Now, if it asked for, let's say, what percent of females have a cat, this is where we would take out of 57, and there would be 16. Okay, and then we could figure out the percentage from there. Okay, so recap, fill in the boxes, you gotta do that first. If there's no total columns or total rows, you need to add it. Then you need to pay close attention to what your total is. So it's gonna say the percent of something, okay? Then you need to pay attention to how many there is. So I want to draw attention to one on the next page. So this is the very, very back. Okay, so like if you look at 3F, it says what percent of students who say science? 
So it's students who say science. So what you need to look at is your students who say science. So your total would be out of 303. Okay, so be careful knowing what your total is about and how much you need to do. Okay, and that's all there is to two-way frequency tables.